In a world where technology evolves faster than we can grasp, there's a looming question. Are we heading for a world controlled by AI? Now this question's bigger than technology, it's more about our future. And if you're here listening to this channel, it's about the future of our business. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Have you guys ever used ChatGPT? Well, today we're exploring how AI is revolutionizing our world and ultimately the way that we do business. But before we jump into that, let's start at the beginning. History has shown us that with every major technological breakthrough from the internet to nuclear power, humanity goes through a cycle. Initial fear, skepticism, and eventually adaption and integration. And as human beings, we're constantly gonna be at odds with technology because we're fearful that it might replace us and our own skill sets or our jobs or our businesses or our career. This pattern of fear and acceptance is a constant battle with technology. Think about the printing press in the 15th century. At the time, it was met with major resistance from the church. They were the predominant player who distributed information and they were worried about democratization of information. Or maybe the Industrial Revolution. During the Industrial Revolution, steam power and mechanization transformed industries, but also sparked fear and unrest leading to movements like the Luddites. And if you don't know who the Luddites are, they were a group who believed that manufacturing machinery was going to diminish employment. And so they were on a mission to destroy it. And then you move into the age of electricity. Electrification of cities and home brought modern convenience, but also initial public fear and misconceptions about its safety. Think about it. We were going from gas lanterns and small stoves to light houses to literally electrifying an entire city. And then of course, my favorite, the automobile. The automobile changed everything. And at the time when the automobile was created, nobody knew that they would need speed limits because the cars couldn't go very fast. As the technology evolved away from horse-drawn carriage to horsepower, the amount of output and speed of the vehicles changed the way that we thought and operated as an entire society. Well, and think about the atomic age, right? The atomic age brought about a mix of wonder and dread. Nuclear power promised endless energy, but also possessed a threat of warfare as we saw in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and the Cold War, not to mention the famous meltdown of Chernobyl. The problem is most people don't understand that nuclear energy is generally pretty safe. Their experience with it is generally negative, but if we actually did the work to understand it, we wouldn't be so afraid. So the question becomes, why do we fear change? Is it the unknowns? Is it the risks? Is it the threats to our jobs? Or perhaps it's about the safety and ethical concerns around AI. But here's the deal. In entrepreneurship, AI is not a preference. The game that we're playing is infinite and constantly changing. Therefore, we have to constantly be adapting and changing with it. Otherwise, we run the risk of being left behind. Whether you're an entrepreneur or not, the most successful people are constantly embracing new experiences and seeking to understand change. Now, the perspectives on AI's impact are varied, right? Optimists view AI as a force for growth and innovation. On the other hand, pessimists fear job displacement, privacy breaches, and ethical quandaries. But here's where it gets interesting. AI isn't just a new technology, it's a new way of thinking. It challenges us to find a balanced approach between human capabilities and ethical AI technology. In our business, AI has become an indispensable tool. We even use it to find leads for business and to value businesses that we're considering buying. So for us, it's not just a tool as much as it has become a partner in our growth. Here are three AI tools that I think every business owner should leverage and their respective use cases. So one of the first tools you can start using today is improving the efficiency of your online customer experience by using chatbots. Two of my favorite are Intercom and Drift. And these tools are revolutionizing customer service by essentially handling inquiries in real time, 24 seven customer experience and support right on your website. And by handling inquiries in real time, chatbots ultimately enhance your customer engagement. They offer quicker responses around the clock. And this not only improves the customer experience, but also allows your team to focus on more complex tasks. A lot of times the questions that customers are asking are commonly asked questions that you can train the chatbot to respond to without the need for human intervention. In the event that it does become more complex, the chatbot knows who to contact and how to leverage that up to get to the right person to help that customer. The second is just analytics, whether that's analytics on your website or analytics in your business or anal analytics in your sales CRM. AI-driven analytics are being integrated into everything. And if you're an entrepreneur who is slow to adopt technology, I promise you that you're missing out on great efficiency 
by the adoption of analytics into your business. Tools like Google Analytics and Tableau are two common ones that you might see in your everyday practice as an entrepreneur. And ultimately, they're able to process really large volumes of data, identify trends and patterns that inform really strategic decisions in your business at a level that you probably couldn't because there's so many data points from where traffic came from to how that lead moved through your business to ultimately how they're being sold, how much money they're spending, how long they're staying. And if you could compile that and use that to improve the business, would that scare you or would that ultimately get you excited? Okay, and the third is probably my favorite. I spent 12 years of my career in marketing and technology and marketing automation is one of the most powerful tools that small business owners can be using every single day. This is no longer reserved for enterprise level companies. Some great examples are HubSpot, Keep, Marketing 360, and they help you do things like streamline your marketing efforts from email campaigns to social media management to compiling all of your data into one centralized place. And ultimately, the goal is to make your marketing efforts more targeted and more effective. As marketing continues to become more complex, you need more and more tools and data through AI that'll help you make better decisions because the data is only valuable if you can do something with it. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are tons of tools being delivered every single day. Grok, Bard, which is Google's product, to ChatGPT, which can help you write and create pieces of content, answer questions. Never in our lifetime has it been easier for small businesses and entrepreneurs to do more with less. The problem is, we're not embracing it, or at least not all of us are embracing it. And it's not just our business. Across the industry, AI is making groundbreaking strides. We're seeing it in healthcare, through AI-driven diagnostics, which are predicting diseases earlier than ever. We're seeing it in agriculture, where AI is monitoring crops, which is leading to more sustainable farming practices. And in art, it's aiding in restoration and the preservation of our cultural heritage. AI's applications are just about as diverse as they are revolutionary. So are we heading towards a world controlled by AI? The answer isn't simple, but one thing is clear. AI is reshaping our world, and we have the opportunity to steer its course or stick our head in the sand. Throughout history, there have been a myriad of fundamental technological changes that have changed the way we work, operate, and do business. It's not just about faster computers. It's about how these advancements have helped us solve complex problems. And if you're an entrepreneur, every single day you're faced with complex problems that need solving. But now we can connect to the world in ways we never thought possible and continually push the boundaries of what's achievable. And as an entrepreneur, that should excite you. Perhaps a more apt question is, how will we be good stewards of this technology? The answer lies not in fearing change, but understanding it and using it to better our world and our business. But one thing I know for sure is we're going to keep using it. And we hope you do too. If you want more insight and more wisdom on how you can leverage AI in your business or more, if you want more insight or more wisdom on ways that you can level up in your business, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share it with a friend. And if you haven't checked out some of our other videos, go ahead and do that because business is always changing and we're constantly giving away the game to help you guys save time and level up on your entrepreneurial journey.